My name is Monica Gillette and I'm going to be guiding us through the next four days. I'm Helen Keel and I'm a Director of Operations at the place. I'm Roberto Casarotto, I work for the city of Bassano del Grappa. I am Pirietta Molari, I work as the Director of Annandalo and uh, the Chief of Children's Culture in Helsinki. My name is Marketa, Marketa Peru, and uh, I'm artistic Director of Sanet Spraha. Do you think contemporary dance is accessible for young audiences? Children are not the audience of the future. They're an audience for now, and they deserve that respect. They take they take the work incredibly serious. They respect the work. So no child ever will politely clap you. What makes exciting work for children? Understanding timing. Create for them a like, um, safe place. Let's do not make assumption from the higher status of an adult. Triggering the action, either through participation or through engaging with the imagination. It can be good for them that the artists go to their familiar space and not only them to the theater. Do you feel contemporary dance is accessible for young audiences who are disabled? Dance for theater goers, be they adults or children, is in the main presented and understood as a highly visual form. We've been trying to directly address how to make work that doesn't privilege just one sensory modality. Today I'm going to talk about touch, access, encounter, asking questions, and our work as an ongoing conversation. Men and Girls Dance reclaims and celebrates the rights of adults and children to dance, play, and be together. Did you see your first live performance in a school? Hi Reception, thank you so much for coming to what I hope is a really special morning where we're going to show you some dance. How does that sound? Yeah. Scarabeo was made, let's say, for a general public, not really thinking about a young audience at that point. And then you were invited by Arrowwaves to go into a residency and shape it for a young audience or to learn about how you wanted to approach that. It was a big question, like, wow, to do it for children, what do we need to do different? There is something about having to go to an essence and uh, having to be very direct that can be very useful in general for a work. Yeah. We work with students on feedback and dance in general. We explain to them that these feedbacks could feed actually the artistic practice of the artist. The kid drew the spine, the, the backbone of the dancer. I think to find a way that the experience is translated into something else very soon is very good. Then with a presumed adult audience, did you make any changes after having gone through? We kept, we kept the children's version. Did you like school when you were a kid? I created a personal method based on my research of dance, my dance practice. I call it corpo giochi, that in English is just like body games. I integrated my dance practice within the school curriculum on an equal level to the other important subjects studied and structured it into workshops carried out during the school day. Corpo giochi the right distance is now carried out in the smaller space of the classroom. A time to make an individual and collective journey, a bodily and sensory adventure. Who am I? What do I feel? How do I behave with others? As a mother, I'm scared that my son won't get the chance to encounter and experience art to build his own comprehension and perception of uh, the world. As someone who works in communications, 
I wonder how we can share these discussions and the values that we share within the dance context outside as well. If you make work for children and young people, you have the enormous, amazing privilege and honor that you are, can often be their first ever experience of live performance. We find it very important that every, every the child and a young person has access to arts. Access is love. Psh. Psh. Psh.